Let's log into Lumen5 to see what they've got in here. So if I just log in, you're gonna see, I've got a couple of videos here. There's two reasons why I really like Lumen5. And the first one is their stock video library. In fact, if I just pull up one of these projects, you'll be able to see they've got a pretty extensive library. So you can just run a search, let's just say home, for example, and uh, let that search. And you'll see there's all these little video vignettes or clips that, you can, be, that can be used. Uh, many of them free. There's a few paid ones or some that require um, higher levels of membership. But there's a ton of free stuff in here. And you can see a preview just if you um, let your mouse stay on that video, you'll see what it looks like. So a lot of good B-roll, right? So if you're going to think of putting that professional touch into a video, um, some good B-roll, um, even just if you're going to do a talk over video, something to add some action into a video. And so uh, that's one of the features that I really like. And then the other feature that I like is let me get out of this one and go back to Lumen5. The other cool feature that they have is being able to create a video from an article or a blog post. So when you're creating a video, for example, you can just grab an article and plug it in and it'll begin the process of creating a video for you. Let me just grab a few presets here so that it'll create a video. I just want to show you how cool this feature is. I'm going to go into more detail for how to use this library as well as how to use uh, this particular feature in creating a video from a blog post. I just want to give you a sense of, all right, here's how cool it is and why these two features for me were, all right, this is why I like this tool and why I thought it was worth sharing with you. So it'll take um, the blog article and it'll, using an algorithm or artificial intelligence algorithm that they have, is go through and create a video for you based on what it said, what it read or what it thought it was important. Um, what I want to do, I want to first, before we start going into these details, I'm going to show you two videos. And uh, I'll show you this one first. And this is just a recently sold video that I used uh, Lumen5 to make. And uh, let's just take a look at what this looks like real quick. So very straightforward. It's got uh, images, it's got text, there's some movement that's taking place. I dropped some of the uh, video footage to give it a little bit of uh, perspective, a little bit of depth, a little kind of professional touch with the B-roll. Um, but for the most part, what I was working with was just images from this listing and I had just grabbed copy um, from the listing description and added it. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is uh, to add all this stuff in here. Um, for creating this particular video, I created just one from scratch, right? So when I went to, let's go here through Lumen5, uh, when I went to go create the video, instead of using a blog or using a script, I just uploaded some of those images and then started creating the video. Um, I find that the algorithm isn't quite good yet at making exactly what I want. So oftentimes you just start from, all right, I'm going to start from scratch with this, which means you're going to add one of the panels. You're going to put an image there and you're going to add text, which is pretty straightforward to do. Let me just show you how easy it is to add an image. You'll see when you scroll over, this is the last one. So I'm just going to add one here briefly so you can see how easy it is to add a scene to the video. Um, before I put some text there, I'm just going to show you that I've got some uploaded photos. So let's say uh, I wanted to add this photo here. And so it's going to add that photo. You know, I can go through and I can crop that photo so it shows a different part of it. Okay. I can go through and change um, the pan, like the movement that's going to take place. Right now it's panning right. Uh, I can do a zoom out. You know, it's the last one on the screen, so now it'll zoom out. And I can preview what it's going to look like. So I can see a preview of that little segment and what it's going to do. Then I can start just adding text here. We're here to help.
So that, uh, let me play that again so you see how the text shows up. And of course you can do lots of changes to it. Let's say you want it to, so I've added a highlight. You can add what a sub scene, which is adding like a secondary um, line of text for that image that would show up. I'm gonna delete it. I'll just show you an example of what that looks like because I have one up here, right here. So you'll see that it's the same image, but then when I add one of these sub scenes, I can add a second a layer of text. So let's see what that looks like. So you see with that same image during that pan, it pops up. And uh, that's all you have to do is if you've got the images for a listing, you can do just listed, you can do recently sold and just put the images in there. Um, you can modify the layouts here and choose a different layout for each one of the scenes. You can see we can, so for this one that's here, I can just change this, click on that. And you see it changed it. You can now see what that preview is gonna look like now. It's a little bit different. You might say, oh, that works kinda. Maybe I wanna go in here and change the way it's cropping a little bit. So you do that. Okay. And then an important factor is the length of time that the slide is gonna show up. So you can go through and change the amount of time. I was shooting for roughly a 30 second video with this one that I had created. So I am gonna delete this one because I'm not gonna use this. So that's how easy it is to create, if you've got the photos for it, how easy it is to create a video. Now, um, the way I added this uh, existing, this B-roll footage, let me show you how easy it is to add that. Go here to the end again. I'm just gonna go click on library. We'll search on happy, oops, that's not what I wanted. Let me go over here and search happy people. So I've got, uh, let's see, lots of happy people here. Hmm, happy people, happy people. Maybe we should try happy people house. There we go. So we've got uh, someone holding the keys. Let's just drive this in here. And so you can see it's gonna add that video. Let's see what it looks like. All right, so you might say, well, I think I'm gonna crop it a little bit because it was it was not quite centered good so there we go we're going to crop it now that video will play a little bit more um centered around that couple you notice that music that i have playing i just have that uh, off to the side here there's a bunch of existing music that they have that you can choose from which makes it super easy um, but that's how you would add some of that uh, existing b-roll footage that they have again i'm gonna delete that and then when you're ready you just uh, click on publish that there real quick. So what will happen is as it prepares for download, it's going to cycle for a little bit, takes a couple of minutes and you can download it. And then you can post it anywhere. Instagram, you can put it on Facebook if you'd like. One of the things I really liked about Lumen 5 is you can easily change once you have a video created, you can easily change for optimization around the different formats. So I had created this as a 30 second video for Instagram and I had it, I think as the square, if I wanted to change it to a different ratio, I could just click on that and then it'll change it to that. Now I'll likely have to go through and make a few modifications, but you can see it'll quickly, it'll do a nice job and then you can go through and just tweak it a little bit. This actually did not a bad job at all at changing it to this format. And then I can just download it, publish it, and then download it again in the different format. So super useful, super helpful being able to change those formats. Now the other type of video is using a blog or an article to create the video. And I find this uh, to be super useful. So once I put that article in here, it brings that article in off onto the left-hand side here. And then I can just come in and I can highlight which pieces I want to use to create a video. And in this case, I think I used all of the stock video footage from the uh, from the library there. Let's take a look at this video.
So nice way to take an article and take some tips out of that article and turn it into a short video. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do though is um, show you a little bit more on how to do this one from scratch because it's a little bit harder. In my opinion, it was a little bit harder to produce that. So I'm just gonna grab this article. I'm gonna click on create video and it's gonna use my blog, click on go and I'm gonna create it for an Instagram post. We'll do in the one by one ratio. Let's go with uh, Strive for Greatness. And it's gonna create the video for us, or at least it's gonna create the beginnings of the video. And once it does, we'll be able to start making edits. All right, now we've got what they picked. And in going through it, as I read it, I can already see that I'm not liking some of this. I don't like some of the things they decided to highlight. I don't like some of the videos that they chose. So instead of keeping what they provided, I'm just gonna clear the board. I am going to, uh, let's see what this looks like here. Yeah, we're gonna modify that to, uh, we'll just make that Kreth Partners. Now what I can do is start grabbing um, the footage and the stuff that I wanna use. Now they make it pretty easy. You'll see as I hover over text in the article on the left hand side you're going to see that it starts to highlight it and all i have to do is click on it and it'll create this uh, the scene for me here now i need to make some modifications so i'm just going to change this the national Association of business economics i'm going to say believe the u.s economy will remain positive throughout 2020. Okay. And then let's see what that looks like. All right, so I don't like that bling sign there. So we're gonna change the video to be a different video. So we'll go to the library and we'll put in uh, economy. Let's see what that does. Let's try housing. We'll just choose that one. I just drag it in there and you'll see that it is going to so you can see that it created then that slide and then I can just keep going through and adding the different parts of the article from the story section and making the changes and uh, for this type of video, what I would do is have like either headlines or stats, right? So a way you can provide value is headlines and stats, sort of the key essence of what that article is about, and just add slides like I did in my example that I shared with you earlier. So you can see it's a great way to be able to make videos, but if you do it, even if you do it for nothing else and only do it for listings or recently sold, it's a good option to make videos that just have a slightly more professional touch uh, because of either that animation that they're adding into it or that library, that video library where you can pull in that B-roll footage for your videos.